Hey guys, welcome to Just Matthew's Kitchen. In this video, we're gonna see how to make super tasty kappa biryani. It's a Kerala delicacy with a delightful blend of flavors. Popular among Christian families in south and central districts of Kerala. This recipe varies from region to region, but the method of preparation and the spices that we use are almost the same. In southern Kerala, it's known as beef and kappa. In northern Kerala, it's known as kappa biryani. Just a note, ingredients are listed down in the description box below. And for easy understanding, here I divided the whole process of making a kappa biryani into 5 easy steps. Kindly watch it. And here is the recipe. Step 1. Cut 2 pounds or 1 kilogram of kappa into small squares as in the video. And place them in a pressure cooker and set aside. Add a teaspoon of turmeric powder and salt as needed. And a cup of water. Combine well. Close the pressure cooker with its lid and cook the kappa on medium flame. Once the steam starts coming through its safety valve, put the pressure regulator on and cook for 10 minutes on full pressure on medium flame. Step 2. Meantime, cut 2 pounds or 1 kilogram of beef pieces into small squares and marinate it with a, a finely chopped onion, a teaspoon of ginger garlic powder or paste, salt as needed, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 3 quarter teaspoon of pepper powder, 3 quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, teaspoon of fennel seed powder, 3 quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder, 3 to 4 cloves, and curry leaves. Combine well and set aside for minimum 20 minutes before cooking. Step 3. After a good 10 minutes of cooking, release the pressure manually and transfer the kappa to another bowl and set aside. Step 4. Now place the marinated beef pieces in pressure cooker. Add 3 quarter cup of water. Sprinkle 2 teaspoons of oil, close the cooker with its lid and cook the beef on medium flame. Once the steam starts coming through its safety valve, put the pressure regulator on and cook for 11 minutes on medium flame. After a good 11 minutes, release the pressure manually and set aside. Step 5. Heat a big pan or a wok. Add 3 tablespoons of oil and splatter a teaspoon of mustard seed and 3 quarter teaspoons of cumin seeds. Three to four dried red chilies. One 
Once the seeds start spluttering, add 2 cups of finely chopped onion, sprinkle salt and saute and cook for until the onion changes its color to golden brown. It will take around 7 to 10 minutes on medium flame. Once the onion changes its color, add 1 and half cups of grated coconut. Combine well. Saute and cook for 5 to 6 minutes on medium flame until water from the coconut is completely evaporated and the coconut turns to a light brown in color. Once its color changes to light brown, add 3 quarter teaspoons of garlic powder. If you don't have garlic powder, add chopped 5 to 6 cloves of garlic. Salt as needed. Three quarter teaspoons of pepper powder. Combine well. Add beef pieces and its gravy from step 4. Incorporate well. Saute and cook on high flame until water from the beef pieces completely evaporated. Water from beef pieces are almost evaporated. Add the step 3 kappa. Lightly mash the kappa with a spoon and combine well and cook for another 5 to 6 minutes. This time add more curry leaves if you have and cook for another 4 to 5 minutes on medium flame. Now our kappa biryani looks like this. Kappa biryani is ready. Enjoy. Thanks for watching Just Matthew's Kitchen. Kindly subscribe my channel for more yummy recipes. I hope you like this recipe and give it a try soon. Thanks again. Bye bye.